I'd like to call to order the North Aurora Village Board meeting of Monday, April 20th, 2020. We'll open with silent prayer meditation. All right, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag, 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 flag of the United States, United States, States of America, America. 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 for which it stands, one, one nation, nation, under God, uh, indivisible, uh, with liberty uh, and justice for all. Uh, very good. Well, I never asked. Is uh, Lori on? Yep, I'm here. Well, the clerk call the roll, please. Uh, Mayor Berman? Here. Trustee Gavino? Here. Trustee Lowry? Here. Trustee Curtis? Here. Trustee Carroll? Here. Trustee Martinez? Here. And Trustee Gately? Here. Our first uh, order of business is a public hearing on our fiscal year 2020-2021 budget. I hereby open our public hearing. Is there anyone to speak at our hearing on our fiscal year 2020-2021 budget at this time? Hearing no one, I declare our public hearing closed. No audience comments that I'm aware of. <coughs> Mr. Bourbon, not see any. You don't see any? No, Mr. Mayor. All right. Trustee comments. I, I have a comment. Um, I saw an article today uh, in, I think it was the Daily Herald, talking about how the mayor of Naperville is, um, you know, talking about opening up some um non-essential businesses and parks and things like that do we have anything within our jurisdiction and our authority that we can do to uh, start opening up businesses and recreation facilities within our village no <laughs> there, there's i mean there's absolutely nothing we have authority over that we can can do I, i'm well, it would appear to me we're working under the governor's uh orders at this point in time and anything that we do would be to uh, go against what he is uh, uh, I don't know if that's a recommendation or whatever but so, so Dale have you been in contact at all with the governor's office I mean any any insight as to um, have you heard anything I mean I, I heard that they may be thinking about doing a regional response well I'm involved in a meeting tomorrow with the mayor's caucus from, uh, that we're going to discuss what we feel would, would go into, but not necessarily, you know, uh, uh, the elements of it. But I don't think that uh, if the governor, if the governor has, made any decisions he certainly hasn't passed them along and and uh, uh i think that he would be uh he certainly would be privy to our meeting tomorrow certainly. hey just on that note uh, the park district controls our parks right all yeah. except for north Aurora riverfront park oh but yeah yeah because here they got they even got the swings and they took down a basketball hoop i mean they basically shut the park down two weeks ago and that it says yeah, I know it's Fox Valley Park District so I don't I don't really think we have any jurisdiction over the park district well, we do not by the governor's order as well mm -hmm. right the park district but that's a different taxing body it's not us right true but you know we're what we're doing is we're we're adhering to what the governor has advised us to do so are we are we mandated to listen to to obey his ordinance or do we have any flexibility within our village limits well i 
personally don't feel that we should go against his wishes, but uh, or what's done. But uh, I don't know the legality of that. I guess our attorney isn't online with us, is he? I he is here. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's all right. I mean, the the whole idea of the emergency management system falls under the emergency management legislation, which is what the governor exercised uh, when he declared the state of emergency. He was declaring that emergency authority. And um, although it well, there really isn't a lot of uh, detail fleshed out in case law. Um, the idea is that all of the all of the agencies of the state, you know, would have a tie-in to the emergency management and the state of emergency declared by the governor, and and everybody would be in line with that. That's the idea. I guess uh, my question flexibility at all, Kevin. Well, like I said, there's not a lot of case law out there, probably because uh, there haven't, haven't been very many exercises of that authority in the past. But um, so, what, so what, would, what would stop us from, you know, saying, OK, turf room can open up or um, nail salons can open up within, you know, uh, social distancing guidelines or, or restrictions of five to 10 people or, you know, I, I, it breaks my heart to see so many people in our village suffering and struggling and the economic impact and the mental impact. If there's anything we can do to even minimize this by 10%, I think we really should be investigating um, what we can do to help our residents because that's what they pay us for and that's what they elected us to do and to sit by and say, we're going to be a bunch of followers and not the leaders that we're elected to be. Uh, I, I didn't sign up for that. Well, part of the problem here <laughs> is that we are preempted when we get to extra regional issues. And this is an issue that doesn't just affect the village of North Aurora. It affects the area. It affects the state and it affects the whole country. So arguably our authority to go against um, an order of the governor when it when it goes beyond simply the village of North Aurora is, is probably not that great. Well, I have no, I have no desire to go against it. What do you said? I think if, if, if you have an issue that you want to bring up and, uh, and open it for us to discuss, to do something, that's fine. But uh, I think it certainly has to be a, uh, a motion that the board would, uh, would uh, have to make the decision on. I personally am not, I'm willing to wait to come up with what the governor comes up with, but he certainly well, has better. We shouldn't be waiting right now. We should have a contingency plan. If we have flexibility and authority to, you know, help our residents out, we should at least be investigating this because what if May 1st comes and now we find out we've got to wait till June 1st? You say help them out. What we're really saying is, are we leading them into more danger by doing those things? Well, and, that, and that's, certainly, that's certainly your opinion. But if I'm looking at well, this from a regional, a regional and countywide perspective, we have less than, what, 20 cases in North Aurora and 550 in all of Kane County. And I, I yeah, don't We also have 30 deaths. Yeah. Right. I'm but not going to we, we cannot, this cannot be something that goes on in perpetuity. We need to have a plan B. And we've got some flexibility. I think we should be looking at ways to ease restricting restriction and getting our economy back going and our employee and our residents back to work. And you know, this is taking a toll, not just not just the risk we've got on COVID nineteen, but there's other risks that are now being associated with this as far as uh, health. I have no reason for us to change what is what the governor has asked us to do. Now if the rest of the board feels that we should do something independently, then fine. But I, no. I don't have any feelings in my mind to do anything different than what the governor of the state of Illinois has directed us to do. He certainly has a hell of a lot more uh, people involved in making the decisions than you or I do. And even though we all feel that we'd love to be back in normal, but I personally, I certainly, uh, I think I, <laughs> I would not go to the turf room, and you know how much I love it. I would not go to the turf room under their 
our circumstances as they are. Maybe you would, but, uh, you know, we have one of our own members of our village staff that has, that has turned positive. We have police and firemen that have been close to those that are positive and have had to go through uh, uh, periods of, uh, of quarantine. And I'm not so sure that I'm willing to allow the village or our employees to go through that without having the governor saying that this is something that we can do. Now, that's my opinion. And, I agree with Dale. Well, I, I think that the, um, the the governor's order is not a recommendation. And uh, in Illinois, I... I've read all of the orders for most of the states and Illinois is not as restrictive as some. Um, and uh, I think that, I mean, I, I, what authority would Naperville have to open other than are they a home rule unit? And, yeah. and so they're given more flexibility, but, but here we run the risk of the attorney general suing us. If we were to open up, partial businesses, the attorney general would slap an injunction on us. And do we really want to pay money to fight this in court when it could be over in two weeks? The point I'm making is we need to think beyond two weeks because I'm all for, I'll wait till two weeks, but what happens May 1st when he comes out, JB comes out and says, now it's going to go to June 1st or June 15th. I, I'm just well, saying I the discussion we need to have now so that, you know, we're not behind the eight ball in this situation. How, how long as a board are we willing to make a resident suffer and, and inflict real economic and mental health damage on people? Because that, that's where it's at right now. You know, everybody wants to open up the uh, economic engine in North Aurora. Everybody on this board wants to see people back to work. Unfortunately, due to the virus and the nature of the virus, we have to wait. Now, if the governor says we got to wait until the end of the month or whatever date that is, or if he changes it, we need to comply. If we don't comply, we're risking people's lives, period. End the story. I don't know what else we have to say. That's what I have to say. That's not, I think we had, we discussed it. I don't see a, I don't see a, uh, an overwhelming majority that wants to uh, move ahead with anything other than where we are. So let's continue on with our meeting. Uh, consent agenda. Motion approved. Second. Second. Discussion. Clerk, call the roll, please. Trustee Cabrera? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. Trustee Curtis? Yes. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Martinez? Yes. Trustee Gailey? Yes. We have no new business. I have no old business. From the village president's standpoint, really tough times. I, uh, you know, we've got, we've got our police, we've got everybody that works in the, in the hospitals and the, that are really there, you know, until we get testing, that is everybody can be tested before they do anything or until we get really something that is going to, uh, a medication for it, um, I think we're going to, we're hunkering down. Committee reports. Uh, Trustee uh, Gaffino, uh, North Aurora Days, little update. We uh, canceled the meeting for April. And, you know, as, uh, as we move ahead here, we're going to have to have some discussions on uh, the status of North Aurora Days as this, this moves forward. So just something to think about as we, we have some contracts, things we have to either cancel or, or change or push push back so um you know some some conversation we need to talk about it pretty soon here i assume that goes for the fourth of july fireworks as well do we have Correct. like yeah uh, clauses we need to get out of there's a clause in our contract that says that uh, there's a rain date clause we're looking into whether or not that applies to uh this situation as well in which case there's an alternate date, and then if that date doesn't work, we can select a different date. So um, right now we have to go back to the contract. I was actually going to bring that up in my report right after this. Uh, so that's where we're at with that. 
Okay, we'll wait until we talk about it, discuss it then. Okay. Any other trustee comments? Mr. Attorney? Well, I uh, I felt bad about not saying anything at the last meeting, and so I'm going to say what I should have said then, which is that uh, our staff has really done a, a phenomenal job of staying on top of what's going on with the virus stuff, and uh, it, it's really been impressive um, that how they've mobilized and uh, stayed in touch with Dale and uh, have done all the things that, uh, that needed to be done so that the village could operate, but they could keep people safe. And they did that, and I just, I just think that uh, they should be commended for that. Well, they have been. Every opportunity I get, uh, I had two officers at my door today uh, checking on our shooting in, the, uh, <clears throat> in our neighborhood. And uh, I was telling them how proud I am of them and how, how, uh, how much I appreciate everything they're doing. And I certainly have, have told Steve, and I think I mentioned in my thing to the public, is that I've done a fantastic job of organizing our village staff and our working work level to protect each of the employees as best we can and protect our citizens as best we can. And I, they've done an outstanding job. And Steve, Steve and, and the entire staff, has, and, you know, it's all collective. They work together on coming up with these decisions as to what they're going to do and how they're maintaining uh, uh, business as usual to the best of their ability. And they've done an outstanding job. I think it's, it's, it's too bad that somebody contacted them but it, it didn't happen in in the office which is good but you know that's the thing we don't know where anybody has been or who you've been close to that is going to pass it on to you but i think that uh, he is doing well and uh mild uh, uh but and i think that uh, is going well from that standpoint appreciate what you're saying Mr. Attorney. I, I'm sorry I didn't say it last time. <clears throat> well, I think we're all thinking it. We really are. Uh, some, I know we are. And I've talked with uh, each of you, to, uh, not all of you, but the uh, majority. And uh, I think, God, everybody feels the same way. Uh, I, I can't believe that our police are out there doing their job. But boy, they signed up for that, and they're doing it. And uh, uh, I think it's outstanding. So, all right. Village uh, Department reports. Uh, Mr. Hanna, finance? Uh, no reports tonight, sir. Community Development, Mr. Toth? I just hope everyone's doing well. Police, Chief Fisher. Uh, thanks, Mayor. I just want to say that we, uh, you know, every day we're monitoring the situation and we react to whatever changes we have to make. And uh, so far, so good. Everybody's uh, taking precautions and staying safe. Very good. Public Works, Mr. Laskowski. Thank you, Mayor. I have no report tonight. Your people are doing a great job, too, John. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, nice job on the last note. I mean, everybody's doing a good job, and that's what they are. I, I'm really, you know. All right. Uh, no executive session. Motion to adjourn. Uh, you missed administrator's report. Oh, Mr. Bosco, do you have anything to say? Well, Trustee Carroll stole my uh, thunder on the 4th of July fireworks, but uh, other than that, no, you guys, all, everybody covered it. The staff's doing a great job just trying to keep our own right now, so thank you. Well, I, and you are doing an outstanding job, Steve, and I think the whole yes. staff is doing an outstanding uh, job. Yep. Thank you. And, uh, you know, from our staff meetings are, are, uh, are, are going well. I think everybody's had an opportunity to, uh, you know, to talk about what, what needs to be done and what's being done. And there's still business as usual. You know, I, Mary and I took a drive uh, Sunday all over the, 
Terry, who main, mainly went west, all the way to the western end. Now we got new houses being built. We got everybody's out in the yards working, people walking, walking their dogs and riding bicycles. And you know, it is, it is pretty much business as usual. We're just not going to the theaters. We're not going to the, uh, to the restaurants. But we're ordering out. I know I'm ordering out every opportunity I get. So. Uh, Mayor, if I could say one thing, um, I did want to tell the board, you know, the, the village belongs to Metro West, the council of government that covers uh, the municipalities in Kane, DeKalb, and Kendall counties. And they've done a really good job. So we're in contact, uh, us being you know, North Aurora, we're in contact with all of our neighbors on a regular basis. Um, we have a group of about five or six administrators in this immediate area that we share information all the time, the mayor's talk. So it's been, being part of that group in this time has been good because it's helped us bounce ideas, see what other villages are doing. And so we all keep each other in the loop. So that's been working really well for us. Well, the, the Illinois Municipal League has done a good job of uh, notifying us too and working us. You know, they, uh, I think they've risen to the occasion. So I think between Metro West and, uh, and you know, and, and certainly a, uh, our group from Chicago, too. Uh, uh, mayor Lightfoot has just done a fantastic job of wanting to bring all of us mayors together from the collar areas, and, and we've listened. I've listened to her every every week, and uh, she's she's not only concerned about the city of Chicago, but she's concerned about all of us and and what we're doing. So, I'll tell you, there's been good communications all the way around. Great. With that, I'll yeah. ask for a motion for adjournment. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. We're adjourned.